Well, developing today, it has been a place of crime and drugs and filth. But now a turnaround may be happening near a homeless resource center in the ballpark neighborhood. Brian Malay, he live there tonight. Woes in that area have been apparent. That is right. The businesses here have complained about crime near this homeless resource center, saying the city has not taken action. That's what it had been complaining about. Now things may be changing. Not exactly the thrilla on Paramount Avenue, site of fights, fires, and more. Go ahead and do their business right behind. Michelle Goldberg said her business parking lot was being used as a toilet. I shouldn't have to say this. I shouldn't have to say any of it, right? It's been daily um, for the past few weeks. It seems like the accountability chain is just broken. That was last summer. Today, after this Salt Lake Police News Conference touting patrols near homeless centers. Do you feel safer? I feel much safer. Michelle Goldberg said, life on Paramount Avenue has changed. We've seen a decrease in drug dealing, drug usage, um, urination, defecation on the property, fights in the street with weapons. She says this police sergeant, Nate Meinzer, the big difference has been working with the community, is a key reason why Meinzer heads up patrols here. You are being described by a business owner over here as her hero. But why did it take so long? Well, we now have the grant. It's a grant dedicated to stepped up police presence near shelters. That we've seen a big reduction in that crime and we're working towards continuing to reduce it. But right now it's not zero. Sergeant Meinzer's team has made a huge difference. So some of the initiatives from the police here, a barbecue, a movie night, a Halloween party. It's not Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, but a couple business owners say it's getting better. Live in the ballpark neighborhood, Brian Malahi, KUTV 2 News.